Hey everyone, it's Coach Matt over here, Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Well guys, today starts a new series of training videos that we're going to be putting here on YouTube for free for you all to watch. And today we're going to start talking about the hammer and the indoor weight. Now the person we have coming up is a strength coach here at Primal with me. His name is Joe Pascone. Now Joe is... Uh, himself was a hammer thrower in high school here in Rhode Island. He threw for classical high school. He's coached at the high school level here in Rhode Island as well. He's worked with you know freshman state champions in the hammer. He's been the assistant coach for a lot of nationally ranked, national top level hammer th th high school hammer throwers as well. Um, he's the guy that we have here do all of the hammer technique, all of the hammer coaching on the weekends with our local throwers. He knows his stuff. He's sort of a guru of the hammer. I like to call him the Yoda of the hammer. Um, when people are looking to learn, this is the guy that they go to. So from now on, guys, let's get the questions for the hammer and the weight directed right at Joe. We'll do some hammer videos throughout the week and some weight videos throughout the week. Just like my videos, leave the questions below this YouTube video um, and the future videos, and we will kind of create a weekly question and answer portion for Coach Joe. So without further ado, here comes Coach Joe. Talk to you a little bit about the hammer for today. Hey guys, it's Coach Pascone from Primal ATC here to go into our first discussion of how I like to coach the hammer. Uh, today we're going to work with some basic footwork. Uh, we're going to focus on turning and its relationship to how we begin to become balanced in the spin. Uh, there is a large difference between a turn and a spin in relationships to the hammer. Um, and really, I found that a lot of throwers don't get coached uh, to understand that difference. So for right now, let's work on the basic positions. Uh, we're going to work with the angles and degrees that I'd like to express in my coaching. Um, so let's just kind of begin. Um, when we start, we very much start just facing zero degrees. This is your normal address position. Um, to your axis size, you have 90. So if you're lefty, it's over your, uh, if you're righty, it's over your left shoulder. If you're a lefty, it's over your right shoulder. So 90 degrees for me, since I'm a righty, is over here. Behind me directly is 180 degrees, and then to my right, a very critical spot is 270. Um, now, a lot of people begin turning, you know, you learn the basic mechanics of, you know, heel, toe, twist 180 degrees, all that fun stuff. I actually prefer to be begin at 270 degrees with both of my feet. Uh, the reason I do this is because there's a very important element that kind of gets passed over um, by a lot of beginning uh, coaches and it's the grounding of the inside of the left heel. This is very, very critical to produce a roll through the throw. Um, so I'm up, balanced over my left side. This is how I begin you know, my hammer practices. This is how I begin my uh, turning to warm me up. Um, I ground the inside of the left heel and I simply turn and twist to 180 degrees. Um, now 180 degrees, this is kind of the first point where uh, people get really unbalanced. So for me, this is a good place to practice, hold my position, um, actually do a little bit of a drill where we drop, and it's called a plie, it's a hammer plie, it's a very important uh, drill that I like to express as my throws begin to get better and better. Uh, so from there, I would simply transition it onto uh, my left toe, swing my hip around, and there I am back at 270. Now, there are key points of balance here, and those are the primary things that you really, really want to look for in its application to the spin. Um, the hammer throw, the weight throw, is a very high velocity event. It's extremely fast. Um, your turning relates to your athleticism. Your balance relates to your athleticism. If you'd like to throw farther, get more balance, practice your turning more so that when you begin to do a walk around spin and then begin spinning, you're actually spinning as opposed to That's turning. That doesn't happen in the circle. If it does, bad news. So for right now, focus on your points of balance. Focus on your left shoulder being over your left hip or your shoulder over your axis, over the inside of the heel. From there, ground, turn and repeat. If you find yourself unstable at some point, practice and hold that position. Be it at 90, 180, 70, wherever it is, wherever you see something go wrong, practice your balance. You do that, 
everything tends to fall into place better, and then you can begin the process of learning how to properly spin, not just turn. And that is a conversation for another time. So shoot me those questions. You know, you can send them Matt's way, send them my way, whatever's clever for you, just make them happen, and I'll get to answer them. So thank you very much.